All right, I am ready. So excited. This is really messy. And what I've learned so far about grouting is you don't do it the, tr the traditional way like you would a tile floor in your bathroom. We're going to do it the dry grout route. So I have pre-mixed grout. Like I said, it's called alabaster. I got it at um, Home Depot. And I'm just going to take some and I'm just going to put it down and just start to push it. I, I do have this little tool, which I'm thinking I'm going to try because... Um, your fingers work best, but I keep ripping my glove because the, the glass is sharp and I rip my glove anyway, so I'm just going to do it the best I can with this. And then when I start pulling it off, the other thing is you want to get um, along the sides, the edges. So I'm just going to try and get it along the edges. It's going to get on my paint job, but that's okay. I am going to be able to get that off. I'm just going to use this grout. Your fingers really just work the best. And when I want to take it off, I'll, I'll use that um, trowel thing. I don't even know what it's called. What do you think that's called? Like a spreader, right? It's really soft and mushy. Kind of like the texture of it. And I'll tell you, the pre-mixed grout has not been a problem at all. It's uh, sanded grout, so it's got sand and it's a little messy that way, like once it gets dry, um, it's just sandy, you know, like it's sandy, literally like it's sands, like sand, <laughs> like beach sand. Um, but uh, having it just pre-mixed, it just saves me a step and you know, my impatient way is I like that, saving me a step and letting me get to the, the good part. All right, I would say the surface is good. I just have to do along the edges a little bit better. Oh, I don't want it to get on the back. And then once I get it everywhere and wipe it off as best I can, I'm going to let it sit, um, and then I'll come back and really buff it, and I'll show you that, too. So see how I'm, oops, peeling off the, but I'm filling in all the nooks and crannies along the side. I know I'm ripping my gloves, but whatever. All right, I think I'm good. So see, this is why this happens. And then I end up with grout on the back. So that's why I put the, the sticky paper and whatever. All right, so let me get any extra that I can. See the... The shading tile that I used is lower than the vitreous glass. So see, I'm kind of scraping it out of the hole. The, these leaf tiles are way higher than some of the petals of the flowers. So I just want to make sure I get any ex excess that's there. I'm just going to take this t-shirt and just kind of, oh, there goes my spatula thing, whatever I want to call it. Go around the edge. It's really messy. And see, this is why I've not filmed it up to now, because it's just messy, and I don't know, but 
I think it is important to know when when you try it just know it's messy and if there's no perfect way to do it oops it is a messy thing to do and that's just it so See, it's all, my, my trick isn't working. I want to make sure I don't lose my ball chain. So, I mean, I don't want to bury it. You know, I want to make sure it has, you can see it. So I'm just pushing the grout off of the ball chain a little better. Around this flower or I mean petal, leaf, whatever it is. Just much higher than the other glass. Make sure we get that. Okay, so traditionally you would take a wet sponge and I love the, the sponge technique, but I think people are steering away from it, the mosaic community, because they don't want to put water with grout in it down your sink and it's the same with paint paint has polymers in it that are very bad for your pipes as well so they consider this called dry grouting where you really are doing most of the pulling off with no water yet we're not introducing and i do a little bit of water um it looks like my abalone shell is okay. I hope I'm just not scratching the heck out of it with the, um, but I think we're good. I'm gonna set it down, gonna change my gloves and I'll come back. And I'm gonna actually, you know what? I have this little tool. I'm gonna, I gotta change these. They're just way too messy for me, but see, I definitely um, got to get holes in my gloves. But I have this little tool I can't find at the moment, of course, because it's probably on my desk, but here, I can substitute this. It's like a little spatula type tool, and I just want to go down in like these nooks and crannies of the actual wood. Actual. I guess I'm going to say that a lot. See? See all that grout that was in the, kind of in the wood there? because it's curvy, so this is curvy. And then I can touch up the paint, the paint job, so I'm not worried about that. Um, I tried painting it first this time to see if that was better or, if, or not, I don't know. Alexa, turn on the craft fan. I'm hot, I'm having a hot flash. See, so that's that. Let's see if, I don't think I did this side. See, now you can hear the sand like. So, this is the dry technique. I'm going to let it sit for a sec for like, a, I'm going to let it sit for a little bit, a few minutes, 10 minutes at the most, because I think sometimes I let it wait too long. But like right in here, this is so messy, I can't. Right like, um, I don't know if I need to take it down that low, but. Just on the glass, I think I'm okay. And see, that's why using a sponge would help me better. And it stays smoother. See, this is a little piece of glass. 
I like the I like a uh, sponge technique. So I'm going to go away and I'm going to come back with a cleaner surface and I'm going to get a sponge and we're going to really bring it home. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, that was about like five minutes, I guess. I went and got this water, this much water. Like it's literally just in the bottom of the pan. And I'm going to throw it outside, like out in the woods. I'm a, I don't know. I know. I'm bad, but I really like this. It just cleans it up so nice. So let me even do the back first. I took the tape off. And I mean, it, it didn't stick to the back, but the sides... I'm not really good at the dry grout method. I don't, I'm not able to get everything off that I want off and it seems still too messy, but like this is tearing up this sponge. See like that's, there's a whole bunch of grout right there, like on the wood. And it kind of melts it off when you use water and that's why I like to do it. Um, I'm just going to have to paint the sides again, I guess. See, it kind of melts. It's like coming off gradually with the water. With damp. It's very damp. It's not, well, it's very little water is what I'm trying to say. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and give it a shot on top now. Gentle. And see, I did scratch the tile. I can already see a little bit. Oh, maybe it'll go away on the eyeball. You can't really see the ear the way I hoped you would be able to. And it's because of the um, lighter color grout. Like, I knew it was a risk using, I generally I've been using um, like a middle, a medium gray grout. But I really thought the white, or the alabaster as it's called, would be a good way to, inc to make the, all the white look good together and then make the flowers pop. So let's see if that worked, at least. Now it's got like a haze over it, but I think that's it. I think I got most of the grout off the surface. Now there's just a haze. I don't really see any, like sometimes the grout can like cover the tile. I just want to make sure I get all the tile uncovered. Um, and it looks like we're good. So these hearts, you can see that. The flower petals. See, I have a little tiny piece of glass here. I think I did it. I think I gotta let it be done. This has a little. Yep, this is this is the thing. It's it's the grout color can really make or break a piece. I mean I don't think it's broken. I'm gonna just take the soft cloth and What do you think? It still has a little haze on it. I don't see any. All my ball chain is stuck, so that's good. But yeah, I mean, design-wise, oh, I'm not disappointed. I think it's super cute still. Um, and you can you can see the ears, but see that's why I put this um, the gray underneath the ball chain was my thinking was that it'll look layered and it kind of does and it kind of doesn't because I added this pink for the highlight 
this kind of looks cool. I didn't put any gray up there. I put gray here. The eye shows up pretty good. I mean, I'm sure I could have put more gray underneath the eye, you know. I was even thinking of putting gray under here, but I ended up just putting it under his chin. You can see his little nose, and the flowers look good. They're definitely popping, because the abalone wasn't showing up as well when it wasn't grouted. I think the lighter grout did make the flowers pop better. And I like the horn. The horn looks good. I think it needs to be wiped again. Hold on, hold on. Oh boy. There we go. Yep. I like it. I think it's cute. So that's it, you guys. Never look a gift unicorn. I'm only kidding. Uh, this is my little Dollar Tree subst substrate. So it was a dollar for the shape. And then I just, I did order some tiles, but you know. And I have a little work of art here. I like it. I think it's adorable, but I do scratch the tile. I am going to be taking a class next week and I will let you know how it goes. Her name is Jeannie Bell and I may introduce you guys. I may take my camera over and do a little uh, question, a little question and answer session with her on what inspires her, type stuff like that uh, for, my, for my crafty community out there to see what inspires other people. Um, anyway, I will let you know, and we're going to be making the coolest, coolest OMG. Let me see. I'm going to bring it up on my, this is one of hers, so I would be doing my version of it, but let me see. Um, it is a flower pot that, come on. All right, let's see. Here she is. Look at that. Come on. Do you know how excited I am about this? so excited all right so that's what i'm going to be doing this week coming up and i will definitely keep you in the loop um i love it i think it turned out really precious it's pretty shiny all right you guys that's it thanks for watching